We do record these so you can watch a Sunday sacred self care class anytime during the week on upward spiral YouTube page. So for the first 10 minutes, we lie on our back, we do Shavasana, and now it's time to find a conscious breath. All that means is pay attention to your breathing. I see some more friends coming in from the parking lot. Great to have you on board. Sunday Sacred Self-Care Class, June 18, 2023. <clears throat> We might move our breathing down to our belly button now, make a meditation out of the rise and the fall of our navel stem. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, nothing to prove, nothing to promote, no one to prod, just this very moment, such as it is. A lot of us humans come from this point of view. It's very human, but one of these days when it all works out, right? It's like pretty soon, one of these days, and and that's okay. It's nice to have wonderful anticipation of a broadening, expansive future, but today is yesterday's anticipation, so let's enjoy this. This is what you've been working so hard for your entire life is the ability to relax, be present and enjoy this glorious, grateful moment. If you just join in the live stream, we're on the back for two more minutes and then we'll start some yin yoga and some restorative yoga. And then the Sunday ritual of feeling whatever you're feeling right now. How are your feels? It sounds silly, but just catch up with your emotional state. You don't have to change it, explain it, or justify it to a $450 an hour therapist. We simply observe it and allow it to be such as it is. As simple as it sounds to feel our feelings, many people can't or don't or repress, and so they get stuck in our body, mind, spirit, and yoga helps to work those energies out. <clears throat> So breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe, listen to your body like a four-year-old child.
And so it's 11 11 and that means we're all one and it's the time where we say the acceptance prayer I accept exactly who I am where I am what I have and what I'm doing at this very moment in time. Good, now we can take the biggest inhale of our whole life so far, big inhale. Exhale, release everything, let go of our whole life to this point. It's over. And just be a calm and empty soul, drain the brain, empty the vessel. Extended moments of quiet. I promise a yoga class any second. I appreciate many different world scriptures. I'm, one story comes to mind. Uh, Jesus and the disciples are chilling and they're having a little party, I guess. And it's at Mary and Martha's house. And I guess they're sisters, but Mary is sitting down to listen to the discourse and the conversation and Martha is still chopping cilantro and running around putting placemats. And Jesus says, yo, Martha, your hard work is appreciated, but it's time to chillax, young lady, and listen to the word. So we can't always be chopping cilantro. That's a slight paraphrase of the story. Good. Now wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate feel goods around your body. Arms up to the ceiling, we lace our hands, we stretch our arms up over our head whilst lying on our back, and we writhe around in euphoria. I call it we-phoria because we share it together. Me-phoria is selfish, we-phoria is generous. Good. Draw your knees in for a little knee hugging and back rolling. We're almost ready to start doing nothing, which is pretty damn exciting. Okay, let's light this rocket. We'll sit up together. Yes, we will. Hey, welcome. Welcome to my Zoom live friends. Welcome if you're watching the YouTube live stream or watching it recorded. There's so many media nowadays, it's crazy. But the main thing is, is if you're here now, you are in the right place because miracles happen in this class. Now, you might think that to be too bold of a claim. Yo, guy on YouTube or Zoom, what makes you think you could do that? It's not me. It's we're going to connect to the universe, God, love, source, spirit. And when that happens, the blessings, the favor, the well-being comes of its own accord. Now, if you don't believe that, <clears throat> you should start right now. So we're just going to sit for a moment. This class is a beautiful blend of meditation, prayer, chanting, writhing around on the floor. Close your eyes, especially if you feel like you can't close your eyes. Keeps the pollen out. Just breathe at the tip of your nose. If you're, by the way, if you're not breathing, start. Listen to the movement of your mind. How busy is your mind right now? You got a million plans. Oh my God, there's so much, so much to get done. I've got interesting news for you. It's already done. Good. Now, I'm not a preacher or evangelist, but I would be for the right amount of money. But 
Uh, I do like to start with a prayer and invocation and affirmation and, and intention, depending on your proclivity. God, love, source, spirit, infinite, higher organizing principle. I hop for short, that covers everything. Bless us with great movement and wisdom and insight in this practice. More will be revealed. Okay, we'll chant Om together and you can, you have an option, you can do it or not, but I suggest you do. Nice big inhale. Om. Feel that. Let a warm, pleasurable feeling of presence and well-being and feel good spread from your head to your toes. It's legal. Good. Now, before we start the movement, I swear some is coming. I ask you to, I invite you to say a prayer for yourself. Pray boldly and big. Don't, don't ask for anything but your heart's desire. Excellent. Press send. It's on the way. And now we'll move in order to receive. So we're going to do some joint juice. Joint juice means we go through these various lever systems of our body and we make them movey and groovy. Some people have frozen shoulder syndrome and this breaks up the glaciers of our neck, back and shoulders where a lot of trauma and energetic repression goes to hide. Other way, by the way, all the uh, um, all blessings and salutations to all the dads watching out there. Six, seven, eight. Good job. By the way, if you're sitting on the floor and it's uncomfortable, you could always sit on top of a blanket that helps. Now my arms are going to go behind my back. They're going to go up my back, behind my neck, and then they express out. Now remember, it's no specific movement. It's a synchronicity. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So just doing this in and of itself doesn't seem entirely um, illuminating or revelatory. Is that the right word? You get what I'm saying, but when you put these together in a sequence, you get a scientific principle called poof. It means they all add up and it's wow we poof. Good. All right. I'm going to switch the cross of my legs because I've been sitting this way for a long time. Now, this is not one of those yoga classes where you have to flip your feet into lotus, but it doesn't mean you can't either. And I'm going to rock a little side to side because that way I can get more on top of my, my hippies. All right. Now, on my Saturday class, we fold all the way down and people are incredibly impressed. But on Sunday, we come halfway down. And so in this class, half measures do avail you something, which is weird. Shoulders pull down your back, relax your eyes. You may never have done a yoga class like this, and boy, have you been missing out. This is just called yin, where you spend a few moments with our eyes closed. A great spiritual writer, I loved what he said. It's sort of like if you were suddenly shoved into a room with no lights at all and the door was closed, you'd begin to feel around inside. You'd barely move your foot 
you'd feel your hand along the wall till you found, well, you'd feel where you could go, where you couldn't. And this is what's true with our inner world. We're shoved into a dark room, but as you continue to explore, more and more lights come on. And then you're not stumbling over the Ottoman like Dick Van Dyke did every single show for four years. Dating myself a little bit. Good, does this make sense? Press into your fingertips, look forward, long spine. Exhale and we're just gonna go halfway plus one. I love half and half. Now, a lot of y'all are pinching your shoulders up by your ears because you don't know that you don't have to. You could let go of the rock on your shoulders. I know a lot of the world depends upon your personal involvement and engagement, but maybe not the whole thing. There's a name for that disorder where our personal input runs the whole universe. It's called insanity. Okay, come on up. If you find this class too easy so far, good, because easy does it. Now I'm going to go back to this cross of my legs. And this is even the class where you can have a sip and hydrate if you want. Where I'm, where I'm from, there's a lot of pollen, so I'm going to wash it down. Mmm, pollen, yum. More pollen than ever this year, probably because of super rains, right? Now let's continue to feel gooder and gooder, okay? Give me a thumbs up if you just want to feel more and more gooder. Excellent. Lace your hands. Now these are called your sternocleidomastoids, these ropes along the side of your neck. And we're just going to brush our thumbs down those. You should brush your teeth and your sternocleidomastoids every single day. Ah, you say, you might say something like, ooh, vowels, say vowels, six, seven, eight. Now, my veteran friends like this. If you're new, it's the weirdest thing. You take your opposable thumbs that dolphins are jealous of. You put them underneath the corner of your jaw. There's a little spot right under. And then you mush your face down into your hands and you massage your thumbs underneath your jawbone. And in yoga speak, this is where your Vishuddha chakra is. <clears throat> that is your throat chakra. And when that opens up, you have the power of the word. You can speak your truth. Yes means yes, no means no. And you can declare who you are and where you're going in the world. In the absence of that, people tell you where to go. Now we can tell them where to go finally. Good. All right. Extra good. Yeah. This gets all frozen up. Oh, you can't speak your word and weird stuff comes out of your face. That's not true. No more of that. Good. Now, right fingertips, back left corner of your canoggin. We're going to tilt the face this way. Drop your chin a little bit. Now, here's an interesting instruction. Figure out the rest of your life. Plan for every contingency. Extrapolate forward into imaginary catastrophes. Solve them. In no, actually, let's not do that. Everything is always working out for us. I've made it this far. I've made it through ridiculous situations. I've run gauntlets. I'm obviously meant to still be here. As long as our best learning and wisdom and uplift is here, we shall remain here. Now, I think you should relax your mouth because we don't want tight face, FOMO.
Good. Now we'll bring it back up. Back corner. This goes this way. And we apply the tincture of time. We get out a little ointment bottle of time and we put drops of time in this pose. If you drop your chin while tilting, you'll feel a radiating stretch all the way down the right side of your back. Stop thinking. I've never read one spiritual book and I've read way too many of them. Trust me, I want all my money back because they all basically could just say be here now and quit trying to figure everything out. That would be funny to take all of your spiritual books, a U-Haul in my case, back to the store and say, I want my money back. Good, now click your head back up. Boop, boop, boop. The only books of any true value are cookbooks. We all know that. Drop your chin, take your head around six times. At least cookbooks end up with something tangible. Two, three. You feel how we're cultivating a mood of peace and presence, calm and serenity. Five, six, that might have been seven if you were to play it back, but I'm not counting. One, two. In this class, we, not, we take ourselves pretty seriously, but not completely seriously. Three, Four, pretty much always followed by five. Thank God I went to school long enough to count to six. That was about it for me. Drop your chin down, close your eyes. 20 seconds of feeling the breath brush along the back of your throat. We call it ujjayi breathing. I've been to many schools, many universities, many colleges. I just never, I never went in. Now here's a Zen question for you with your eyes closed. And I want you to, it's a Cohen, K-O-A-N. And the question is, what in this very moment is missing? You might be thinking the next movements because I'm not going to sit here all day, bub. Okay, now we're just going to, we're going to kind of, we're going to kind of go like this. You might see musical instruments all around me. There's, there's the piano in one side and the bass drum in the other corner. There's some guitars and I've got all these music teachers and some of them are really good and some of them are, you know, I'm kind of sifting and sorting. But the teachers that drive me crazy are the ones who say, go like this. And I'm like, that's not what I'm paying you for. <laughs> Show me. Teach me something. Good, let's go this way. Woo! I'm one year into musical instruments. I figure I got about 18 more months before virtuosity and don't mess with my delusion for isn't this fun and enough inhale yogis arms out now reach your palms out with palms up to receive your blessings and pull in give a little brush on your side come around the front this is a surprisingly big live Zoom class for 
Father's Day because usually dads are demanding breakfast in bed and such, but maybe you've already addressed that. Come around to the front, pull in. Calm and peaceful movements to cultivate peace. Good, now pause by the pause of your side. See that? Put your thumb in your gentle fist. Close your eyes. Feel around for that inner presence. If you don't know what that is, what's he talking about? There's no such thing. Boy, are you in the right place. Good, now open your eyes and push out with these gentle little fists. Go out wide. This is a carefully curated sequence of movements that I have found that have led to the most rapid possible increase of higher consciousness. <laughs> that is just such an arrogant thing to say. Go way back here. But I'll say it. I say a lot of things that people won't say. And people say, you don't say. And I say, I sure do. Back here. Push forward. And one more, this gets our wings all opened up because we're angels in training, right? Push out. And we go up here. Good, then we, this is called Anjali Mudra. Not Anjali Jolie, it's called Anjali Mudra. And now you put your prayer hands on top of your head. You close your eyes. Now I've tried, on last count, I've tried 167 different religions and spiritual systems in my life. In the 70s, I was a Rosicrucian for three weeks. I joined it from the back of Popular Mechanics magazine, and this was their move. Put prayer hands on top of your head. And this angles super cosmic unicorn energy into your chakras and stuff. Good, now lace your hands and we'll push them up here. And we'll turn to the right and we'll relax our left hand to our right knee and just take an easy pose, twist to your right. Close your eyes, it's darker. This is the class where all you gotta do is lean into your current range of motion and everything else takes care of itself. Isn't that nice? In other words, you don't have to do everything all the time. You don't have to paddle that hard to go down a stream, a big river that already has a giant current. A little bit of paddling is fine, but if you paddle too much, you get paddled. Good, we'll release out of this side. By the way, we're almost ready to get started with the class. We're going to switch around the cross of our legs. This class begins the second that it ends. Lace your fingers one finger over. And look where my hands are in relation to my cat tower behind me. See that? He may come out any moment. If you haven't met Looney Bin Laden, he's terrorist kitten. See how I'm going higher and higher? And there, good. Now with your arms way up, see how my shoulders are all tight? They relax. Close your eyes. And this is called Parvatasana. And it's, it's Sanskrit for arms sticking up pose. It's pretty brilliant how they came up with this name. There's a sect, S-E-C-T, of people in India that hold an arm up for years as an oblation to God until it withers and dies. And so we're not going there. I'm pretty extreme, but not going there. Good. Now turn left, 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 right hand, left knee, left arm behind you. Get a nice little twist. Pretend you're a dish rag that kind of has some ick in it and gently squeeze out stinking thinking, bad ideas, opinions, everything we think we know so that we can actually learn something new. 
by about 1895, scientists had pretty much concluded that they had figured out the essence of physics, atoms, molecules. They had it hammered. There was nothing else to learn except there were a couple things they couldn't figure out, a couple small little things. Inhale here and release. Of course, the principle is the more you know, the more you don't know. Stretch your legs out. Fan your toes open wide. Now add a little bit, I call it knee pooch, a little bit of knee bend, just a little. So you're, I don't know, the belly of your knees two, three inches above the floor. Grab your hamstrings and just with your knees bent, sit slightly more forward. Now I'm wearing a cat shirt. And so the cat pulling down the space shuttle you see how the cat has collapsed and now the cat expands. Make your cat expand and then put your knuckles on your head. Now squeeze your knees together and in a moment you're going to feel your tensor fascia lattes, the muscles at the top of your thighs, lateral, they're going to start to say, that's enough of this pose. Exhale. Inhale, stretch your legs and push your arms up. A pose as mundane as this is a profound pose called Dandasana. Yin yoga is slow, patient, feminine, cooling, intuitive, right brain yoga. Good. All right. Cramp. Ah. Oh, good. Now, hands on the floor, feet in. Slide your bum in a little. Now, you might be thinking, we're not going to lift up our hips. That seems really challenging. So let's not do that yet. Just stretch your chest forward. Make the cat on your T-shirt stretch forward. Drop your chin. Don't hurt your neck. Go a little toe in, heels out. Exhale all the air out. And now, bottoms up. So some classes are for circus performers and it's like, I can lift my hips higher than everybody else. This makes me superior to them. But in this class, all you have to do is lift your hips up to where your hips go and then just slightly higher than that. And come on down. Good. You guys are doing great, especially you newbies. You newbies really need to do some yoga. Good, now wag your kneelets. A lot of people have never stretched anything from the waist down for this millennia so far. So we're gonna relax open our bottoms a little bit. Yogis have an interesting saying, they say we die from the feet up. And so a lot of people, it starts to kind of die down south of the border. So we're gonna keep it lively down in Guadalajara. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be the rest of the class or anything, but because now we're going to do roly poly guacamoles. I've been teaching yoga since the turn of the century. This this century, I'm not that old, but these are the movements that I learned early on that I'm still using at the ripe old age of 46 years old and they just make me feel wonderful. Now I'm going this way, other way with my paws. No, I am 66 years old. I will admit to it, although I know your first thought is, you look fabulous for 66, but I'm pretty damn frisky, I got to admit. Shake your hands out. So I think yoga is the fountain of youth. I have no gray hair that um, can is not possible to color. No, I don't do any of that. Choose your parents well, at least one of them. Flippy flops, hi, how you doing? Hey, how are you doing? How you doing? Forget about it, New Jersey yoga. Faster, faster, alabaster. Woo, you might say, woo. 
taking singing lessons. They haven't really kicked in yet. Cup your hands at your heart, drop your chin, close your eyes. Thinking of going to do my first karaoke, it's it's not that I don't have a voice. I have an unbelievably loud voice. My voice teacher wears headphones during our classes, but I'm gonna go break some eardrums at karaoke. Let me know if you wanna come. I saw a couple people raise their hand. If he's going to make a fool out of himself, I'm definitely going to watch. I'm thinking of starting with Don't Stop Believing by Journey and see if I can mimic Steve Perry. Good, now squeeze your knees in together. Boy, that would be traumatic. <laughs> All right, now pull your heels into your bottom. Grab your knees. Now, the people in my family, my tribe, the shape of our hip bones, it's it's a little more challenging to bring your knees in together like this. It feels so good. Oh, you love this. So just squeeze a little more. Good. And this is it. Now, see where my head is in relation to Looney Platform 2? Head floats up, chin drops, close eyes, shoulders relax, and be absurdly happy for no apparent reason. It's called unconditional happiness. Some people are, they're happy when everything is going their way. And ha, good luck for them, but we practice non-contingent non happiness. This is the, this, my yoga class, Sunday class is like an episode of Seinfeld. It's not, it's about nothing. Nothing really happens, which is most people need a, need a lot more nothing than they need something. For those who have ears, let them hear. Good, you guys are doing great. Now, I think that you've deserved, that we deserve um, a more relaxing. Now we're gonna kind of make this transition into going like this with our hand. We're gonna make this transition from yin to restorative. It's kind of nice. It's kind of like when you're falling asleep, you're still awake, you're thinking about your day. What went wrong? Is my kid ever, is it ever gonna work out for my kid? I sure hope they get a job someday. And then, it gets dreamier and driftier and you drop into something called theta brainwave state and you can't control your thinking and there's poodles riding unicycles on the Eiffel Tower. That's where we're going in just a minute. See how I always keep you kind of on the precipice? It's what I do. <clears throat> okay, now. For those who have bolsters, let them lay. Now, if you don't have a bolster, you could go on to Amazon right now and you can buy a bolster and probably have it delivered by 3 p.m. today. But I've got a bolster. And a bolster is a big old pad. It's a big old pad. So I want you to come over to my pad. It's a big puffy. I'm gonna slide it out in front of me. And I'm going to give you time to have yours out there. And this is called Restorative Twist. This is my favorite version. We do it, you know, maybe once every other week or something. I usually don't break out a lot of weird poses. It's the same poses, but you never step into the same river twice. It's the attitude, intention, love, and presence that's brought. See how I'm sitting with my knees over to the left? Can you do that too? Mr. Rogers teaches yoga. Now, I'm gonna slide my right hip into the bolster. Put your right hand on the bolster. This is a flying butt buttress. Have you ever seen the cathedrals of Europe? Neither have I, but th this is your right hand flying buttress. Now fold your knees and ankles around behind you. So in other words, my knees and ankles have swung around behind me. I've crossed my ankles into mermaid pose. 
both hands on the bolster by pushing into the bolster, um, stretching. This is how yoga teachers talk. Imagine being in a relationship with a yoga teacher. They'd always be saying, talking in weird emphasis like this, leaning back. Now put your right hand over here. Now take the head of the bolster. This is the, if, I'm not going to say which part, this is the head up here. Take it over here to one o'clock. Now I'm, like, I'm going to twit, I'm going to turn cat attacking shuttle face down. And now we're going to go splat onto our right ear for about two minutes. And finally comes the juicy, peaceful, happy, luscious, lovely, sumptuous, delicious yoga. Going to charge our batteries while we do nothing. This is called Sack of Clams, Sack o Clams Pose. Dropped onto the floor and one minute of perfect silence. Relax, take a load off. We've made it this far. Everything is working out for us. We've already started the avalanche of good. We know how bad it can get, so let's see how good it can get. Just relax. You probably don't have to do one more thing for the rest of your life for everything to work out brilliantly. Just let it go. I'm not saying don't do anything, trust me, I'm just saying only the smallest little movements. Notice how your breathing will begin to slow down. Inhalations and exhalations will last a little longer. There might even be a perceptible pause between the end of an inhalation and the start of an exhalation and vice versa. As our nervous system drops into parasympathetic relaxation and now you might even be experiencing theta brainwave state where you can't really control your train of thought. It's going to derail into the most remarkable dream-like Jungian archetypal stuff. Good. Now, we're amazed, even though we're not even halfway through this pose. Come up, up on your hands, just for fun. Good. Now, this is called teenager texting their friend while being kind of stretching. Okay. So, teenagers are very bendy, and they stretch a lot. So is my cat. I can twist him 360 degrees, and all he does is 
purr more loudly. So now from here, I'm just going to lift up. I'm going to get some more stretch in my stuff. And now I'm going to move my bolster just a smidgen over here, more to the right. Cat on my t-shirt twists more. And this is an this is a fun experiment. How about your left ear? Can you Van Gogh onto your left ear? Oh, you say. Mm. Now, if that's too much, just go back to your right ear. If I'm killing you, it's not my fault. Just, I wanna see if you can Van Gogh to your left ear. Now spread your elbows open wider and I'm gonna hire some people to come over and walk on top of you. Not your family, they're already doing that, but just kind people to step on you. Now, if this was a regular class, we'd already be six moves in the future. We'd already be done. We'd already be doing something else later today, but we're just we're just doing this. The magic happens in the space in between the thoughts. Okay, now for those silly of us who went to our left ear, return to your right ear. Uh, good, now plant your hands and push out of situation now you don't have to have your camera on but if you do and your cat walks in front of the camera and that cute of a thing you're going to get acknowledged so laura it's good to see your cat now swing your legs back around to the front and now this is where the elite meet to return to sit on their seat Doesn't that feel good just to take some time and do something like that? This class, it's called the Home Depot. There's, I used to work at the Home Depot and then I got an inspiration to work at the Ohm Depot. I sold carpeting. Good, let's chant Om together. Big inhale. We're going to extend the Om heck along. Big inhale. Is vibration and we're way more vibrational than we are physical we're vibrational beings having a material existence if you wonder why the ohm is extended so long i've tried to explain it but i don't have time read the book breath by james nestor n-e-s-t-o-r it will blow your mind breath it explains how we use breath to facilitate well-being and health in our mind, body, and soul. Good, now I'm gonna turn, we are going to turn our knees to the this way. That's probably your right, huh? Yep, you have the right to turn your knees to the right, right? Now that would leave your left hand here to butter pat the kitty cat right here. Now we're going to slippy slide our knees and anklets behind us. Cross your ankles, pull your heels into your bottom. Mermaid pose. Good. Now I'm pushing. 
I'm going to push in with both hands, lean and back. Now cat t-shirts turning left, left hand goes on floor, head of bolster goes to 11 o'clock. Good, now, um, this is for demo, you don't do this, but demo cat t-shirt front shuttle cat aims down bolster. And we're gonna Van go to our left ear, okay? Ah, you say, as you come on down. Now, if you're tight as a boiled owl, you're, you're trying to not die by staying up on your hands. And I'm all for not dying yet, but widen your elbows out, relax. How fast an hour has gone by. It's amazing. No rush. We're here for eternity. And about one or two minutes of Pure nothingness. I got nothing for you. Once you get into these yin restorative poses, feel how your breath will settle and slow and calm and peaceify. Open your ears. What sounds are there that you are around your house? Neighbor using a chainsaw, magpies. Listen, open your ears. In the quiet, all of our problems are being solved. The answers, my friends, are blowing in the wind, but not if you can't hear it. Okay, so we're amazed. We're not even halfway through. Come up, put your elbows, please, on the bolster. Text your friends. I found this yoga class. There's this guy, Greg. I think he's partially insane, but it's just the best yoga. Visit him at upwardspiral.com. Good. Now, here's an option. I love options. I'm going to take the bolster to 1045. Cat t-shirt is going to extra super twist. And now we're going to consider our right ear. If it's too much, don't do it. Okay. If it feels fabulous, feels fabulous, be a hedonist and just do it. Now I'm gonna come put a doormat on you. It's gonna say welcome. People can just walk all over you and it doesn't feel bad, it feels good. Now stay exactly in this pose. Don't look or nothing. Just take the biggest inhale of your whole life so far for a breath holding contest. Big inhale. Good. Exhale, melt your bones some more. Release trauma from your childhood.
This pose is complete, so transitions to outcome are slow. Come on out, kitty cats. Now, maybe you're brand new to this, and it's like he never said how long this class was going to last. And curiously enough, this class just goes on forever and ever, and people just leave when they want. Just kidding. Normally, this class goes to about 1210, so you can do nothing for 75 minutes. So now this is the best thing ever. I've, I've reviewed tens of millions of hours of yoga in my life just for you. And this is the sequence that delivers the good stuff as quick as you're going to get it. So your right ankle goes over your left knee. I was blessed with a 195 IQ and I've reviewed trillions of hours of yoga. I've carefully curated it down to the bet. No, wait, that's my weight. One night. <laughs> my IQ somewhat south of that. Okay, now. See how we're sitting in this kind of wide kneed cross legged pose, but if you can't do it, guess what you do you just oh you say so you just keep your leg out here or you cross your legs regular style. This might take about two weeks to get in this pose, but. What else you doing that's any more valuable than this exactly arms out. This is big hugs for the world. The world needs. Hugs. Good. Now we're going to do these. These are called Cheryl Crows when you go side to side and you turn your arms. One time I was working with a mentor and he said, Greg, you have a discerning and critical mind, but the world does not need your judgment. It could use your love. So that was the end of that mentor. <laughs> All right. Now, from here, our right arm is going to go under. And you're going to hug your cat t shirt. Mmm, you say, I love me. Quirks, foibles, character defects, and all. I'm pretty damn amazing. Fold your arms up. Now we're going to do ups and downs with our elbows and side to side. Greg, how did you think of this sequence that's so wonderful and amazing? I didn't think of it. It came to me in an inspiration. Then we go roundy roundies. All the best stuff I've ever thought of, I actually didn't think of. It was thunk into me, I would say. Good. Now take your elbows all the way to the right, face all the way to the left. Drop your chin, close your eyes. This is this is that fav famous meme of don't drop the baby or the dingo will get it. Good. Now slide your hands out to your elbows. It works so good. Elbows come up here. This is reframing your life. I didn't have childhood trauma. I had childhood opportunities and challenges that have allowed me to rebound into amazing states of consciousness that would have been unavailable except for the quote unquote adventures of my childhood. <laughs> now that was a reframe. Did you hear that? I can reframe with you for a small charge per hour. Good. Now bring your arms down with your right forearm on top. If you're watching this for the first time, I am a life coach and I don't mean to be flip, but an hour of me is worth about $600,000 of standard therapy. I know because I've paid that much. Relax your hands down. Close your eyes. Good, now swim toward me. Grab your right wrist with your left hand behind your back. Massage your kidneys in a circle. Your kidneys are like, finally. Ooh, they say, ooh. Good, now, this is not the class where you fold all the way down. 
because you can't do it anyway. You're going to rip your hindquarters. Just lean forward a little bit. Find that exact spot where you run into the obstruction. Drop your chin and just park here for a moment. I'd say put a couple of coins in the meter, but the parking meters where I live only take Bitcoin. Now you're just, you're on the boundary between who you are and who you're becoming. And that's a good place to play. That is a good interface in your face. Okay, come up, friendly friends. Okay, we'll do the other side to bring about almost perfect, complete enlightenment, satori, samadhi, bliss, illumination, and just, just one class. What a deal it was, this class. Such a deal. Now, this goes, this goes hither. Now, if this is like, oh, no, this is not going there, you just can leave it out there or cross your legs however you want. But after a while, when you become competent, <laughs> you'll be able to do this. And if that offends you, a lot of times a good, healthy resentment helps you to learn things. I've got some teachers, they just were constantly offending me and it pisses me off and it makes me want to learn it. So I, I'll show them, I say. Good, these are called scary crows as we go side to side. We're a murder of crows, you guys, murders of crows. Good, then open hands, pull back, left arm goes a sweeping under. Fold them up, if you don't, arms don't fold up like this, it's not that big of a deal. Many saints, sages have made it to heaven without this much shoulder suppleness. If making it to heaven is contingent upon shoulder supp suppleness, that's not actually heaven, that's hell, side to side. And then circulate your scapulas other way. Dig out that thing that happened in the seventh grade that ruined your life. Good. Now elbows all the way to the left, face all the way to the right. Drop your chin, close your eyes. You might say to yourself something like, I am, I am a calm peaceful soul. And if you're not, you will be really soon. Isn't it nice to just lift up the oars and float downstream? Let your hands slide to your elbows. We're going to reframe. And as we reframe, we're, here's today's reframe. Everything is always working out for me. I use every situation to highest advantage. If I do suffer, I suffer productively, so I don't have to in the future. And that way, the better it gets, the better it gets. Good, then the paws come down, and now we note cleverly that our left forearm is on top. And the hands go, hands go trapdoor, blop, shoulders relaxed, tall spine, chin level, eyes closed, and the weird placement of the tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. And practice absolute perfect stillness. Yogis call it chitta vritti. It means cessation of fluctuation. Quit fluctuating. Quit flucking around. Good, now open the eyelids, swim toward me, grab your left wrist with your right hand and massage your kidneys in the other way. You might say something Profound, like, ooh, ah, uh, e. Good now. 
just lean forward to that perfect precipice of presence and pleasure. Drop your chin. Maybe make ujjayi breathing, that soft, whispery, aspirant sound at the back of your throat. As our consciousness heals and raises, our outer circumstances reflect. We're always living the exact consequence of our current state of consciousness as within, so without, until that realization is made inside of us, there's no true progress. We live our state of consciousness. Okay, friendly friends, we'll come up. We'll conclude movement by taking thumbs into middle center bottom of feet. We're going to massage into taller hridaya, the heart lung center of our feet. I went to see a cardiologist once and he said, you know, all you really need to do is just massage the middle center bottom of your feet with your thumbs and it will clear up any issues? And then he said, five cents, please. And then I realized I was having a weird dream, but it could be true. Massage the middle center bottom of your feet. Now push in with steady pressure. Close your eyes. With your eyes closed, make a pretty triangle of light of your third eye and your two feet. This is the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. It is Father's Day. My father, who may or may not be in heaven, ah, oh, give him a break, Greg. Good. Now, pluck your thumbs out. We're going to chant Om, and we'll do a delicious five-minute shavasana. Big inhale. Fill up your cat. Oh. Barking down the street, oh, car alarms going off, oh, prayer hands, drop chin, close eyes, let's feel holy, holy, sacred and irreverent, reverent, Just overflow with gratitude, thankfulness, and appreciation for the miracle of being itself. Great. And now for the whipped cream, the cherry on top, the piece de resistance, the sine qua non. See how I put a bolster here underneath my knees? And I actually have yoga blankets. They're different from regular blankets because you buy them from yoga emporiums and they're the same blanket. They just cost three times more. And then that's yoga. This goes underneath my neck. My arms go here, my butt goes here, my now, this is called corpse because somebody comes and they put a chalk line around you because it proves how relaxed you are. And you guys are going to veg for six whole quiet Greg free minutes. Yay.
pose starts now you can fully downshift into disengaging you can leave and leave your body yogis do it all the time there's a tether an elastic energetic tether that connects our soul and our physical body it's okay to wander away like a astronaut on a spacewalk couple of bonus relaxing minutes, disengage more, release more, surrender more. Very good, stay in the pose, relax more. This is a ritual we do every Sunday. This is from the Church of Greg. And if you want, purely from choice, if you'd like to invite God, love, source, infinite, higher organizing principle, the universe in, this is a good time to issue that invitation. God, love, source, universe, come into me, fill me, inspire me, lift me, guide me, Heal me, upgrade me. 
never from coercion or force, always from choice. And if you prayed that little prayer with me, I always pray it. Wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate a fresh batch of super feel God through yourself. I truly believe we're extensions, nerve endings of God. And if we open that channel, we are open to good. Good, curl onto your right side, take your time. The transitions at end of class are very slow, peaceful, patient, prudent. And Greg says, love all over yourself, especially quirks and foibles and so-called character defects. Maybe they're your assets. Love all over yourself. There's no one else like you in the whole universe. Then we keep our eyes closed to sit up. It keeps the vibrational, visceral, felt sense of connection on the inside for a few more moments as we sit up, sharing the same. We might be in different physical proximity, but we're in the same vibrational condominium right now. And as we sit up, our spine stack up. We sit like lotuses. Is, is. Our hands come into our heart, and I invite you to feel holy, sacred, and reverent toward the highest that you know. I'll do the same. I believe if we all go in together, we'll find the same place. And from that place of beauty, connection, and unity, all together we say, Namaste. <clears throat> Now, live Zoom friends, I'm just going to sign off to my YouTube followers and the live streamers. If you're watching on YouTube, live stream or watching a recording, I beg you, please like it and comment and subscribe because we're taking peace and joy and love all the way around the world. It really helps just to leave a comment and we'll see you next time and I'm going to sign off to the uh, live stream here real quick. And we'll stop that. We'll stop the recording.